All right, we're out on another walk, actually scoping out a new location with a buddy of mine here. And it's uh, his spot, so I think he was pretty happy when we came across this McClellan's Coral Snake. And for those of you who've been watching the vlog since the beginning, you may remember that the very first vlog on the channel featured a McClellan's Coral Snake as the last snake of the evening. So, always pretty fun to find these guys in the context of the vlog. And just in the context of the herping, they're a pretty special snake. Uh, we've talked about them before, but I'll do a quick rundown because it's been a while since we've had one on video. These are a relatively cryptic species. They're a pretty much completely terrestrial snake and largely fossorial. They can be found in leaf litter, sometimes underneath objects, and they really like to hunt down and eat other smaller snake species, especially blind snakes. Now they'll opportunistically feed on other things, but pretty well known as uh, snake eaters. They're elapids, so they have short fixed front fangs, and they possess a neurotoxic venom. Though I'm not sure how much study has been done on the specific components of the McClellan's venom. But they are known to be quite toxic and uh, potentially lethal snakes. So you can see here they're pretty unique in terms of Hong Kong species with that very distinct white mask on the face, um, bookended by the black muzzle and uh, black just uh, in front of the neck. And they have these brick red bodies with black bands that are usually outlined in a light yellow or light cream color. Uh, that's the case with this one as well, but the bands are quite narrow on this one. Now, the other thing about McClellan's that's quite interesting is their ventral scale scales. They have uh, piano key-like ventral scales, so they're uh, yellow or white uh, with black block markings all the way down. And they're also known for some pretty interesting defensive behaviors. This one's just coiled up a little bit. But like a lot of the other elapids here, especially the crates, they're pretty well known for hiding their heads under their bodies. And they also like to stick their tails up and curl the end so that you can see the piano key yellow and black or white and black markings underneath. And it seems pretty straightforward that that's a, a decoy maneuver, so they'll hide their head and hold their tail up so you'll go for the tail instead of the head. And then they can either turn around and bite you quickly or maybe try and flee if you've nipped the tail and um, haven't quite caught on. So, very, very cool species. Very cryptic, very hard to come by, and really fun to find it while we're scoping out a new location. So I'm just going to give a, a couple of quick overhead views here so you can see the snake um, as it is. And then we're going to try and grab a few pictures and if there's anything interesting for video, we'll pop back on uh, if, it's, uh, if it does any threat displays or anything like that. Otherwise, we're going to move on and see what else we can find tonight. So here's the view from overhead. You can see here it's coiled up quite nicely. One other feature worth note is the uh, tail. Uh, the tails on the McClellans actually have a small spur on the end. They'll use it sometimes defensively to poke at things that are grabbing at them. Uh, it may also have some use in courting during mating, uh, but I haven't seen much in the way of research or observation on that just yet. So, great species, really awesome find. We're going to keep at it, we'll check back in if we come up with something else.